Hi there, grade nines, and welcome to the last part of our application problems on linear equations, which is on perimeter. And um, uh, we this was the topic that we um, didn't tackle before the spring break, and we uh, said we're going to go back to this after the spring break. But with this unfortunate situation, I am making a video for you to watch in case you needed some guidance on how to answer a perimeter word problem. For others who have done this and have kind of followed through the examples, you do not need to watch the rest of this video. You can just go ahead, uh, do the odd exercises from this page up to perimeter word problems part two. And I think that was uh, page 25, I think. Yeah, page 25 is the end of this. And all the odd problems there, I'd like for you to do it. And when you're finished, take pictures or scan your handouts. Send the pictures or scan document to um, Google Classroom. Uh, make it as a submitted document. We should set up an assignment uh, portion there for this section. And then you can proceed with um, doing your project. So again, if you finished all the exercises on this section here, you don't need to watch the rest of this video. All you need to do is devote your time to connect with your teacher if you have questions about the project. And also if you have clarifications and um, any difficulties in completing your project. Our project deadline it still holds true based on Google Classroom. If we need to have an extension on that, then we will discuss it as a class during our first meeting. So let's first get started with uh, some warm up questions here. I'd like for you to read each question, attempt, pause this video and come back when you're ready to check your answers. So after reading each of these problems here, this would be L and this would be L plus four. And this would be your W, and this would be 2W minus 4. And uh, for this one, this would be your S, this would be your S plus 2, and 2 in brackets S plus 2, because it's twice the first side, so we needed the brackets. Tap yourself. Um, congratulate yourself if you've done all these expressions correctly. Now we're ready to do the challenge problem, and uh, read it first. Pause this video and try to attempt it yourself um, and then come back if you're ready for the solution. All right, so as we know, the steps that we do when we're solving equations here is we're going to name the variables first. So according to the problem, your W is your width, or I used just the expression W, and the length is three, three times the width, so it's got to be 3W. And if we talk about perimeter, and I, I drew a rectangle here, uh, perimeter is just adding all the sides, right? So it's W plus all of these sides here is equal to your perimeter. Another alternative uh, expression that you can make here, since there's two W's, so it's two times the width plus two times the length is equal to 96. This would be a shorter equation, but it still leads to the same answer. And moving towards your equation there, your W is 12 and your 3W is 36. And we can make a generalized statement here. The width is uh, 12 centimeter and the length is um, 36 centimeter. Okay, don't forget that final sentence there. So that's challenge number 11. Pause this video, read challenge number 12, and then uh, come back when you're ready for the solution. So I hope you tried challenge number 12. I have drawn a triangle here to visualize. It's not drawn to scale, but uh, I think the challenge for this problem here is what is our X? Okay, so I've drawn a little arrow diagram here. A is in terms of B and C is in terms of A. So which one should stand alone? Since A depends on B and C depends on A, it's got to be that our major uh, expression or our simplest expression 
is going to belong to your B. So we're going to let B equal to the length of side B. And uh, since side A is twice as long as uh, side B, then it will be 2B. And side C would be 2B plus 1 because it's 1 centimeter longer than side A. And here we have side B plus side A plus side C is equal to the perimeter of the triangle. And the rest would be uh, solving algebraically. So your uh, lengths there are 15, 30, and 31. And you can make a generalized statement there that the lengths of all the sides of the triangle are 15 centimeter, 30 centimeter, and 31 centimeter. So great job you guys. I think you're ready to do all the odd problems of this page here and also this page here. And then what I'm going to let you do is pause this video and try warm up exercises from 129 to 131. Pause this video and come back for answers after. All right, uh, check your answers. And if you have the same answer there, congratulate yourself. I'm just probably gonna explain problem number 130 here. So it says uh, the length is twice as long as the width. That's your expression 2w for length and w for width. And this time something happened to those dimensions. The length is increased by three. Thus you have um, plus three here and the width is decreased by five. That's your expression minus five here. So um, this part here is just a uh, bringing you to examples where something happened to the um, original figure, uh, some lengths and widths have been decreased or increased or even multiplied by some um, numbers there. What's gonna happen to uh, the perimeter of this particular uh, polygon or particular figure? Okay, so we're now ready to do challenge number 13. Uh, read this, pause the video, and then come back if you're ready for the solution. All right, thanks for trying it. And uh, here I've drawn some visual of this rectangle here, and it says the length is three times the width. So my original figure is this uh, rectangle right here. And then something happened to the length. It was decreased by four. So that would be three W minus four. And the width is increased by one. So that becomes W plus one. So uh, in this case here, you can write expressions for the original and the new, and then go from there. So we know that the perimeter is equal to two W plus two, with, uh, two length plus two W. And we know that the new length now is three W minus four. And the new width is now W plus one. Take note of the use of the grouping symbols here. And we know that we have to use distributive property to simplify this expression. And the rest there would be the algebra that we know. And we're going to get the value equal to nine. And uh, we go back and W is actually our original width. So it's nine centimeter. Therefore, the original length is three times that, which is just 27 and you can write your final sentence as uh, the original width is 9 centimeter and the original length is 27 centimeter easy peasy lemon squeezy um so that's challenge number 13 and i'm gonna bring you back to now uh doing exercises here just odd exercises for this page here and then um also this page here and then, oh, I missed lesson challenge number 14. So this is our last example. Um, hopefully you are given confidence to follow through and then do the odd exercises there. If you want, again, more practice, you can do the even exercises as well. So pause this video, try challenge number 14, and then check back for answers from here. All right, thanks for trying this last problem. I've drawn a, a triangle here that's not drawn to scale as well. So um, again, we're, we're trying to find which one would be your X or which one would be your main variable. So here, A is in terms of B and C is in terms of A. So uh, C depends on A and A depends on B. So it's got to be that our original variable is B. So B is the, uh, the length of side B and side A is, is just uh, five 
uh, centimeters shorter than side B, so that's B minus 5. And uh, side C is twice as long as side A. Again, please take note, the use of brackets here. Since side A is a binomial expression, that has to be in brackets, which means we um, apply the distributive property. So the perimeter, side A plus side B plus side C is equal to 69. Uh, here we did the distributive property, collect the variables, did our equation, we got B is equal to 21. And that's the length of side B. And B minus 5 is 16, which is the length of side A. And twice the length of side A is 32. So you can make a generalization that the lengths of sides A, B, and C are 16, 21, and 32, respectively. Okay, that ends our uh, short video on solving perimeter problems. The la Do the... the Add exercises on this page here and then we finished the whole package for word problems uh, we might have to let you do the practice test for some practice but um, if your project is uh, really submitted on time and well done and if we see that you have a solid understanding of this unit here then we can move on to the next unit okay um, Please don't forget to do your homework, uh, submit your pictures or your scanned uh, handout and submit it through Google Classroom. Have a nice day and we'll see you during our virtual meeting uh, online live session. Okay, have a nice day. Bye-bye.